हरे कृष्णा वेलकम टू कृष्णा स्क्यूजिंग आई एम भुवन सुंदरी लता देवी दासी विथ जन्माष्टमी स्पेशल रेसिपी विथ लॉट्स ऑफ स्वीट्स एंड सेवरीज फॉर जन्माष्टमी विथ वेरी फ्यू डेज लेफ्ट फॉर अ वंडरफुल सेलिब्रेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर अ वेरी इजी स्वीट रेसिपी दिस स्वीट रिक्वायर्स ओनली टू इंग्रेडिएंट्स टू गेट प्रिपेयर हियर वी आर विथ पीनट बर्फी Peanut barfi is a super delicious sweet which you can definitely include in Janmashtami chappan bhog. It's wonderful to know that this sweet remains fresh for 20 long days so this becomes a very good option for prasad distribution during Janmashtami or any festival. Further made up of two easily available ingredients peanut barfi can also be consumed in ekadashi or any fast this brittle and mouth melting sweet is super delicious and needs to be included in your bhoga list this janmashtami so let's begin first take 3 cups of peanuts in a pan roast it on low flame only do not roast it in a hurry or else the peanuts will get dark spot on it and remain raw from inside it has been 10 minutes and you can see how easily we can peel them off so turn off the flame and remove the skin of all the peanuts I have peeled all. You can see how similar they have roasted without any spots. Now transfer some peanuts into a mixi jar. Do not grind all at once and do not grind continuously also. It will release its oil and its texture will change. Now grind it. I have ground it. Now take a strainer and strain it. We are getting the fine powder below. grind this leftover again in the jar do not grind it continuously this is done now let's make the sugar syrup take 1 and 1/2 cup of sugar in a pan into this add 3/4 cup of water next stir and dissolve the sugar on low flame it won't take much time for the syrup to cook because we have taken only half the amount of water to the sugar we need to cook the syrup until we get one and half strings and if you are not comfortable with strings consistency then cook the syrup for 7 minutes and you will get same consistency It has been 7 minutes and let's check the syrup. We are getting 1 and 1/2 strings here. With this our syrup is ready. Add 1 teaspoon of cardamom powder and mix it. Keep the flame low and add peanut powder. mix it well we have shared many janmashtami special recipes and you can find all in janmashtami special recipes playlist which link has been shared in the description box below now we have to cook it on low flame until it leaves the pan 
and this process will take 10 to 12 minutes. Stir it in between. Do not leave it for more than a minute. After 5 minutes you can see our mixture is thickening but we have to cook it further. Do not overcook it. Within 2 minutes we will get the perfect texture. Here I have taken a mold and placed the parchment paper. You can set the burfi in ghee greased plate also. It has been total 12 to 13 minutes and our mixture is absolutely ready. Turn off the flame now. Now transfer the mixture into the mold. Flatten it with spatula. I have flattened it. Now garnish it with some chopped almonds and some chopped pistachios. Press it gently. Dry fruits are optional. Now keep it aside for to cool. It has been 1 hour and this is cool. Take it out. Now cut it into square pieces. While cutting you may feel little hard but it is truly mouth melting. Our peanut burfi are ready. You can store it for 20 days in airtight container. Let's place a tulsi leaf and offer it to our laddu kopa. Our janmashtami special peanut burfi are offered and ready. Do try it on this janmashtami and let me know how it came for you. It has been offered. It's so soft and mouth melting. If you like poga recipes, please like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon below so you do not miss any poga recipe. Always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare and be happy.